How to Improve Blood Circulation in Body Blood circulation is a vital function of the human body that ensures all organs and tissues receive the necessary nutrients and oxygen to function correctly. Poor blood circulation can lead to various health issues, including swelling, pain, and even severe conditions such as varicose veins and deep vein thrombosis. Fortunately, there are many effective ways to improve blood circulation and maintain good health. In this video, we will explore some practical tips and lifestyle changes you can adopt to promote healthy blood circulation in your body. 1. Dry Skin Brushing Dry skin brushing is a simple yet effective technique that can be easily incorporated into your daily routine. Using a dry brush with soft bristles, you can gently massage your skin in circular motions, which can help remove dead skin cells and stimulate blood flow. Not only can dry skin brushing improve the appearance of your skin by eliminating unwanted waste that may be trapped in your pores, but it can also promote the growth of new skin cells and improve skin texture. Additionally, the increase in blood flow that results from dry skin brushing can provide your body with more oxygen and nutrients, leading to better overall health. Regularly incorporating dry skin brushing into your daily routine can be especially beneficial for individuals with poor circulation or lymphatic congestion as it helps to improve the body's ability to eliminate toxins and waste products. 2. Use compression socks. If you suffer from poor circulation in your legs, wearing compression socks can be an effective solution. Compression socks fit tightly around the lower leg and provide graduated pressure from the toes to the knee, improving blood flow and reducing the risk of vein-related medical conditions like varicose veins and deep vein thrombosis. It is recommended that you put on compression socks before getting out of bed in the morning to prevent blood from pooling in your legs. However, it's important to note that compression socks may not be suitable for everyone and can worsen certain medical conditions. Therefore, it is always best to consult your doctor before trying compression socks to improve circulation. Compression socks are available in different compression levels, ranging from mild to firm, depending on your needs. They can be purchased over the counter or prescribed by your doctor. When wearing compression socks, it is important to ensure they fit properly, as poorly fitting socks can cause discomfort and even lead to skin irritation. You should also wash your compression socks regularly to maintain their effectiveness. 3. Elevate your legs. Elevating your legs can provide significant relief if you suffer from varicose vein disease or poor circulation in your legs. This is because prolonged periods of sitting or standing can cause blood to pool in the veins of the legs, leading to various discomforts like swelling, cramping, pain, restlessness, itching, and fatigue. Elevating your legs for 20 minutes daily can help improve circulation and alleviate these symptoms. To elevate your legs, lie down and prop them up on a pillow or chair so they are above heart level. This position helps promote blood flow from the legs back to the heart, reducing pressure on the veins and swelling. You should elevate your legs several times a day, especially after long periods of sitting or standing. Aside from relieving varicose vein disease, Leg elevation has numerous other health benefits. It can help reduce stress, improve sleep and inflammation, and promote relaxation. If you experience persistent leg swelling, pain, or other symptoms of poor circulation, it is important to consult your doctor to rule out any underlying medical conditions. Your doctor may recommend additional treatments, such as compression stockings or medication to improve circulation. Four. Get a massage. Receiving a massage is another effective method to enhance blood circulation. Not only does a massage provide relaxation and relieve stress from daily life, but it also stimulates blood flow. A massage is beneficial for promoting healthy circulation by aiding in the movement of blood and lymph fluid throughout the limbs, similar to the effects of walking and exercise. Furthermore, Regular massages can reduce stress, enhance flexibility and immune function, alleviate pain, and improve sleep quality. 
In particular, massages encourage the flow of lymph fluid through the lymph vessels, which aids in boosting the immune system and its functionality. Five, consume iron-rich foods. Maintaining adequate iron levels prevents anemia and promotes healthy blood circulation. Including iron-rich foods in your diet is a simple yet effective way to achieve this. Seafood, peas, spinach, and dried fruits are all excellent sources of iron that can help maintain optimal iron levels. Iron plays a vital role, as it is a crucial component of hemoglobin, which is responsible for transporting oxygen throughout the bloodstream to various body parts. In addition to incorporating iron-rich foods into your diet, you should also pay attention to your overall dietary habits. For instance, ingredients such as ginger in your meals can help improve blood circulation by promoting blood flow, while garlic can help prevent blood clotting. It's important to note that iron is better absorbed when consumed with vitamin C, so be sure to include vitamin C-rich foods such as citrus fruits, tomatoes, and peppers in your diet. 6. Take Omega-3 Fatty Acids Consuming foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids is an excellent way to promote cardiovascular health and improve blood circulation. According to the American Heart Association, it is recommended that individuals consume at least two servings of omega-3 fatty acids per week. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fats the body cannot naturally produce. Therefore, they must be obtained through supplements or diet. These fats have numerous benefits, such as reducing inflammation, lowering the risk of heart disease, and improving blood flow. To get more omega-3 fatty acids in your diet, consider consuming fatty fish like salmon, sardines, and mackerel, as well as nuts and seeds such as flax seed and chia seeds. Omega-3 supplements are also available for individuals who cannot consume enough of these foods. Incorporating omega-3 fatty acids into your diet can help lower blood pressure, reduce the risk of blood clots, and improve the flexibility of blood vessels, leading to better overall circulation. 7. Do cardio exercises. Increasing your heart rate through regular aerobic exercise is an effective way to improve blood circulation. It benefits the heart and lungs and improves blood vessel health by dilating blood vessels, enhancing blood flow, and reducing the risk of plaque buildup on the vessel walls and blood clots. Cardiovascular exercises, like running, swimming, cycling, and brisk walking, are some of the best exercises for improving circulation. Experts recommend that adults engage in moderate intensity aerobic activity for at least 150 minutes per week, spread over three to five days. This can include activities like cycling or brisk walking. Alternatively, you could use high-intensity interval training to improve circulation. HIIT involves short periods of intense activity, followed by periods of rest or low-intensity exercise. Besides promoting cardiovascular health, regular aerobic exercise has been shown to have cognitive benefits as well. It can increase blood flow to the brain, which improves cognitive performance and overall brain function. In conclusion, taking care of your blood circulation is essential for maintaining good health. By incorporating some of the tips and lifestyle changes we discussed in this video, such as exercise, a balanced diet, and self-care practices like massage and dry brushing, you can improve your blood flow and reduce the risk of developing related health issues. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions or additional tips to share, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on health and wellness. Thank you for watching.